We are here at the Exeter Corn Maze in Exeter, Missouri to give you guys a quick look at everything you can expect when you come out here. I'm here with Artie, the man himself. He's the guy that keeps everything running here, including the new things like this giant slide that we're hanging out in, right, Artie? Yeah, this is one This is one of our biggest, newest attractions, I guess. It's Pumpkin Summit. Okay. It's a 300-foot tube slide. All right, there you go. And you say the biggest, it literally is the biggest. Yes, yes, it's the tallest and longest, yep. Yeah, I imagine people going down this, they probably pick up quite a bit of speed too, huh? Somewhat, yeah, you'll get, you'll get some speed at the start, but then you come to a nice gentle stop down here at the bottom. Okay, perfect. So what other new things do you guys have going on here this year? Well, we've we've added a variety of stuff. Uh, of course, more room, more barns to sit in, enjoy the day, uh, more concessions. Um, Ride-wise, we added the Harvest Time Carousel. Okay. And then uh, Patchy's Plummet, which is a free fall spring ride. All right. And uh, kind of nighttime, more for the younger kids. Uh, you know, we wanted to give them something on the haunted side to do, and, and that's the Harvest Delights. Um, it's a, uh, you take a wagon ride through the woods, eerily, eerily lit, and Halloween lights everywhere, decorations, they seem to love it so far. Yeah, so not too scary though, right? No, no, that's perfect for the kids, but, you know, for the adults, we have the haunted houses, the haunted barn, and the bunker, and then, of course, we've got the zombie paintball ride, which is good for every age. Yeah, and I love that you have added, you know, the extra space, the extra barns for people to hang out and kind of chill in, because this is something, you know, people don't come here just for 30 minutes or an hour. They come here for an all-day event. Right, yeah, you really need to plan on staying three or four hours uh, just to, to see everything and do everything. But yeah, we have people here right when we open and, and they're the last to leave, so they stay all day. Yeah, but it's important to do that because you know you guys are a little bit far from Springfield, not too, but about an hour or so, but yes. it's definitely worth it as long as you plan to stay and hang out. Right, yeah, we hear that, we hear that daily, that it's uh, people, you know, we've drove an hour, two hours, three, and uh, they always say it was definitely worth the drive. Okay, I was gonna ask because I know last year when I was out here, you said you had families coming from Kansas City. Has anybody come from any further than that? Yes, but um, I can't say, you know, they've drove that far. I just, I know on opening weekend, we had some from South Dakota, a, few, okay. a couple families, and then I think some from Tennessee, and um, I, I can't say that they drove here just for that, but they were in the area and thought they'd check it out. But you know, I, I like the sound of it, so I think we should just kind of go with that. They came all the way here from Tennessee. You're right, right, yeah, you can't, I mean, you can say that, that's where they are from, well, so. Yeah. yeah, there you go. So if anybody wants to come check you guys out, because of course they do with this awesome this place is. How can they get more information? Uh, the best, uh, ExeterCornMaze.com, and then uh, we're located four miles south of Exeter, Missouri. All right, perfect. Well, Artie, as always, thanks so much for having us out and showing me around. Thank you.